How's it going guys? Dylan from Luxury Lives On and I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the oldest car in our collection. This car is really from an era that was infamous for cocaine, pop-up headlights were mandatory, and everything said turbo on it. I'm of course talking about our 944 Turbo S Silver Rose Edition. Let me explain to you why we're standing in front of a 944 and not an old 911. The main word is value. When I was looking at the market a long time ago at these cars, I noticed that the 944s were totally undervalued and underappreciated. You could find 944s for just hundreds of dollars. But it turned into an addiction from there. Of course, I started looking at turbos and then suddenly one day I discovered the Turbo S. And, of course, I had to find one. So, here we are. And we were lucky that we did find one. Because that shiny S badge at the back is only represented on a thousand of these 944s in 1988. They were made for just one year. Now, unfortunately today, the S badge on most Porsches is just the ability for you to have bragging rights and be a douchebag and say that, oh, I paid more money and therefore my car is better. In essence, it holds a bit true with this. You do get the S badge, and yes, it was expensive to get the S version, but it did come with some added benefits. The main reason being is this 944 was actually derived from the Turbo Cup car, which was a racing series that Porsche had a lot of success with. And what that meant is this car got to get a lot of very cool parts from its bigger brother. Now it's not my objective to keep you here all day, so I'm just going to list some of the really cool options that stood out to me on the Turbo S. Starting with the brakes. This could brake substantially faster than most cars of its era because it got to take the big brakes from its big brother, the 928. In addition to that, it was a lot faster because it got a larger turbocharger than the actual standard turbo. And for shifting, the endurance was far greater with this gearbox because it's a hardened steel gearbox straight from the race car. Now, in addition to that, this car rode very stiff and handled very well because it actually has adjustable Coney springs. That meant the car could actually be adjusted in terms of its ride height and the tension in its springs. All of these amazing race-orientated factors allowed the 944 Turbo S to actually beat its bigger, older brother, the 930 Turbo, around the track. I know, blast me, right? In addition to that, it has these special wheels that look fairly similar to the untrained eye, but they actually have these little dimple marks, and that's how you can tell it's a Turbo S. So I've already been blabbering my mouth about how special I am because I have a Turbo S. Well, allow me to blabber a little bit more. Because as I mentioned before, this is a Silver Rose Edition. And what does that mean? That means that actually only 381 out of the 1,000 Turbo S's that were made were made in this spec. And this spec allowed the car to have a silver paint color with a pink tint to it. Now, it's probably not coming off on camera. In fact, it only comes out in certain lighting. But that offers a really cool look to it. But in addition to that, the pink doesn't start there. It starts right here at the seats. These absolutely outrageous, love it or hate it, pink and red plaid seats. In addition to that, to match the pink if there wasn't enough in it already, all of the leather and pleather is maroon colored. 
Now, other than all that, let's talk about the cool features that you got in a Porsche in the 80s, well, because they were German and expensive. Starting with eight-way adjustable seats. This car was actually also one of the first cars with a CD player and airbags and ABS. The car also had electric mirrors. You also got automatic windows. Another cool thing is you could actually lower and raise the sunroof. So I know your fancy new Carrera has its tachometer on the dash, but this is the original stopwatch. Speaking of Porsche's attention to German detail, even the windscreen wiper washers, before they emit any liquid, are preheated before they shoot out on your windshield just in case you're in super cold conditions. Thank God, Porsche. Thank God. There's something else you gotta love about an older, solid car like this. Gotta love pop-up headlights. The other thing is you just have to love the design of this car. It is so angular and pointed. Well, enough of my blabbering. Let me take it for a drive and actually tell you what it feels like to drive this 1980s Porsche Turbo S. Alright, so we are aboard our Turbo S. So let me tell you about uh, the kind of the weird cool thing that you experience obviously when you're driving an old turbo car. And the main thing is turbo lag. My foot is flat, but it's flat, it's flat. 3000 RPM kicks in. Woo! It's actually a fast car. It's got about 250 horsepower, 250 pound-feet of torque around, uh, but it's actually, you know, very light. And with all those race components that I talked about, it handles and accelerates and brakes all very well. So right now we're about to go over some bumpy road. They just put in a new apartment complex here and we're going to test the suspension. Yeah, you feel it. No, definitely. But the Coney Springs allow you to, as I said, adjust the uh, tension in the springs which allows you to kind of absorb those a little better if you're in a, a crappy area where the government or the state has forgotten about your roads um, or you can also raise the height of the car as I said so that if you're in you know your driveway is very tight or or you don't want to scrape the car you can also raise it which is kind of cool all you need to do is remove all four wheels tweak each suspension and you're chilling next let's talk about real world acceleration perfect example where to stop light right now and people next to me probably think I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. So let's say I want to beat this car. No turbo, no turbo. Woo! enough so there we are that's my road test let's pull her in
So we've just arrived back from our test drive. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed my somewhat review of our 944 Turbo S Silver Rose. And yes, I know that's a mouthful, but I hope you guys learned a little bit more about the 944. The 944 has always been a bit of a hated car compared to the 911s, and as you can probably tell, it certainly doesn't deserve that. It has awesome looks, awesome braking, awesome handling, awesome acceleration, which makes this a great value proposition because it's not only is it pretty affordable, but it's also relevant in today's standards when you're comparing it to other cars on the road. And it's obviously much more exciting to drive around. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.